Hello everybody, my name's Shirley. I do voluntary work for Keetla Healthy Living and today I'm going to show you the basics of crochet. The very basics just to get you started. Okay, I'll have to change position now so you can see my hands. Right, now you need wool and a crochet hook and uh, if you can do a little knot either a slip knot or if you can't do a slip knot just a knot of some description on the hook to get you going now your left hand does all the tension can you see and it let the wool slip through and it'll be under my control. So we're going to, to make, oops, we're going to make a simple chain. I've done that slip knot a bit too tight. Right, a simple chain. This is the first row of your crochet. Can you see how I'm just pulling it through and making a simple chain? now you, you this is the first row of your crochet so it you make it as long as you want to make it but I'm just doing a short one to show you how you get going now when you go back on your first row you need you leave one chain and you're going into the second chain round pull through this is the hard row actually just to get it going because you haven't got much to hold on to um, but, and especially if you've got arthritic fingers like me you'll struggle right we do we get in there now I'll show you I'll hold it up in a second when I pull this through right can you see now how that first row goes now what I've got is I've already done a first row here so you can see what it looks like because that is the hard row to get going it's getting into that uh, uh, chain first of all now get your tension going on your fingers don't sit on your wool you do better now one chain and then go into the last chain of that row, last row right in pull through pull through two in pull through pull through two in pull through pull through two can you see how you do it so each row is is sort of quite a fat row actually so it grows pretty quickly in right pull through in out pull through but you soon get a rhythm going but it, it will take you a while to get to this uh, so don't worry if you faff about and you're doing it slowly it doesn't matter you'll get there in the end it, it, it with crochet it's practice and once you can do it, then you'll be away. There'll be no stopping you. Uh, says she laughing <laughs> Right, I'm nearly at the end of this row now. Look, you can see. Two more chains to do. One. And then I'm on the last chain. Oops. And I've lost my loop. Right. There we are, that's the last chain now. Turn round, one chain, and then into the last chain of that row. There, round, and you're away on your third row. You see how that's going? 
pretty quickly really isn't it right I'm going to turn around so you can see me and I can see you right I'm going to show you one that I made a little while ago all odds and ends all diff you know all blues but all different wools but they were all double knitting all the same thickness which is important um, don't mix any iron in with it otherwise it'll go fat and thin and it won't be good my family call these granny blankets my grandchildren love them they're nice to snuggle up on the settee watching television whatever but once you've practiced you can do something simple like this it it makes it didn't take me that long to do this and as you can see it's quite a size um have a go have fun get cracking <laughs>